The Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture held the annual Youth and Parliament virtually today under the theme Resilient Youth Reengineered for Reemergence. Young people representing various family islands focused on a number of issues with COVID-19 and unemployment taking precedence. Today, I rise on behalf of the good people of Pinewood to address this topic of a new normal. The question, Madam Speaker, is not one of if or when, but one of how we will rebuild once this crisis has abated. The jobless rate has been above 10% for 18 of the past 19 years. Madam Speaker, mentally this new normal has truly affected us all. Every island knows a person who have died from COVID-19. Social distancing is non-existent even to this day. And you will be hard pressed to find someone wearing a mask properly. Youngsters spent weeks researching and provided a myriad of viewpoints, both supporting and challenging measures to strengthen the economy, as well as addressing other issues of national interest. Other organizations, such as Hands for Hunger and other charitable groups that have been donating to the misfortunate of the island, are like a microscopic crumb of bread in the ravenous mouth of COVID-19. On July 23rd, the now Minister of Health, the Honorable Wenwood Wells, stated that the arrival of COVID-19, that there had already been infrastructural and technological issues with the foundation of the Bahamas' healthcare system. COVID-19 is in fact far from the normal. Many of us hate it, but we have to live with it now. <laughs> As many 